This is an introduction to the major changes to the DSE 4000 litre forest firefighting tanker. Please refer to the manual for the detailed procedures. The tanker has new systems for simpler and easier operation and additional safety features. When entering the cabin, note that the console above the dashboard has been lowered and has the pump start and spray switches located together. The main pump is normally started from the work platform, but it can now also be started from the cabin. This enables the driver to quickly engage the vehicle spray protection system in an emergency situation, provided the spray head valves are in the on position, which is the normal position for these valves, and the four position throttle control is in the high elevation position. When there is no driver, control reverts to the person on the work platform. The switches in the cabin are left in the on position, but the spray head valves are in the off position. In an emergency, you can then manually open the spray head valves. For the spray system to be most effective, water must not be used for hoses. This means hose operators must shut off all nozzles and close the hose reel isolating valves located at the rear of the vehicle. When both spray heads are in use, the system will operate for 13 minutes using all the water in both tanks. Operating time is 4 minutes on the rear tank only. The system operates for double the time if only one spray is used. For all the water to be used, the floor valve must be changed from one tank to the other. The water level indicator has been relocated, along with a new battery guard and high idle indicators. The battery guard system isolates the battery if the voltage drops below 24.1 volts. This prevents the battery being drained if a light or some other device is left on inadvertently. A flashing green light indicates that the system is isolated. To reactivate the system and start the tanker, press the battery guard switch. To ensure batteries are maintained at peak charge, drivers are advised to charge the batteries when the tanker is in storage. The mains power battery charger inlet is located at the rear of the cabin. The high idle device. When the tanker is at idle, working on the fire line, and power is being drawn from the battery at a greater rate than the alternator is replacing it, the high idle device automatically increases the revs after four minutes to provide adequate charge to the battery. The water level indicator on the dashboard is mirrored externally on the driver's side of the tanker. The levels are displayed automatically when the ignition is on. Press the test button to show water levels if the ignition is off. The low water level light will flash when the water drops below quarter of a tank. The upper console above the driver contains intercom controls for communication between driver and the crew on the work platform. The driver can talk to the crew at any time when the intercom is activated. For the crew to contact the driver, they need to activate a push to talk button. The GPS is also located in the upper console. The Resource Automated Tracking System, or RATS, is located behind the driver and constantly reports the vehicle's position via the radio and can be viewed on FireWeb. Circuit breakers are now provided for all the fire equipment on the tanker. If a circuit breaker is tripped, it can quickly be reset. Refer to the guide on the side of the box for the information. The main pump is a GAM Mark 125, close coupled to an 18 horsepower Ruggerini diesel engine. 
the pump can be started from the work platform or the cabin. When started on the work platform, the revs can be changed using the four position pump throttle control. This replaces the pump throttle lever found in earlier models. The pump revs cannot be changed from the cabin. Other new features are a reconfigured floor valve. It still selects the source of water for the pump suction from the three options. Rear tank, front tank or external suction. Note that the position of the floor valve to select the rear tank has not changed. The monitor is fitted with self-locking cam-lock couplings for ease of operation. The pump inlet strainer is now accessed from above the floor to make cleaning easier. Rinse off any debris and remove any small stones as these may damage the pump. To eliminate working on top of the tank, the fill hatches have been repositioned for access from the front and rear platforms. Working on top of the tank increases the risk of a fall and is to be avoided unless a risk assessment has been done. The rear platform is fitted with a safety frame to prevent a fall. The preferred method of filling the tank from a dam or a hydrant is to draft water via the external suction fitting. Position the tanker with the external suction inlet fitting close to the water source. Place the floor valve lever in the external suction position. Remove the blanking cap and let any residual water in the pipe between the pump and the external suction fitting drain. This allows any debris in the inline strainer to be flushed out. Connect the suction hose to the external suction fitting. Put the pump delivery valve to tank fill position. Select the required tank to be filled by setting the tank inlet valve to front tank or rear tank. Slowly open the hydrant or use the pump to draft the water. Observe the water level indicator and then fill the other tank. When all tanks are full, select the foam delivery position. Use the correct type of hose. When filling from a dam, use the black rubber suction hose. This is found in the suction hose storage tubes at the back of the tanker. When filling from a hydrant or quick fill pump, use the brown lay flat hose with the adapter to connect to the external suction fitting. All tankers are now fitted with cabin power tilt. Micro switches prevent the operation unless the brush bar is lowered and the cabin locking lever released. Turn the cabin tilt switch until the cab is fully raised. A limit switch will cut in. Rollout frames have been added for the battery and foam containers. Lock the toggles after servicing. There are significant new items and methods of operation on the new tanker. Please refer to the manual and the troubleshooting guide for detailed information.